Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zephyrsonic for TGN.TV and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. So, in the last episode, we took on the Poke Cup and we defeated it, and now we're going to be taking on the Prime Cup, which is the last uh, bit in round one. Well, there is one other thing to do in here in this first round before we go on to round two, but uh, let's not get ahead and let's go ahead and uh, take care of the Prime Cup. So it's level 1 to 100, but the computer, I believe, is at level 100, regardless uh, of your levels. Open to uh, all pokes. Enter with 6, choose 3 out of the 6, of course. No level restrictions. Yes, the opposing uh, trainers will all use level 100. So, uh, yeah, no matter... If you bring in level 70, 80, it doesn't matter, they're going to be at level 100. So that's the rules. And let's go into battle. So, um, going in here, you'll see that my Pikachu, my special Pikachu is at level 100, as well as my Nidoqueen. They were two that I trained quite heavily by defeating the Elite Four like a bajillion times in uh, Pokemon Yellow. Constantly doing a speed boost, and I beat him probably over a hundred times, or over fifty times, seventy times, I don't know. But, uh, it was quite a lot. So yeah, so that's gonna be my two that I choose for there. Um, and I'm gonna be raising some more to level 100 after I take on this, uh, Pokeball in the Prime Cup. So, for... Let's see... And we go with Stormy, uh, Flareon, Articuno, and let's see who's the last one gonna be. <clears throat> well, because I don't have my Alakazam to level 100 yet, I'll go with uh, Jinx. So let's go against the Poke Ball Prime Cup. Jinx will be the uh, special sweeper here. And so for this first battle, pathetically easy, uh, with Q Ball. And look at his nickname, some of which change the colors, like Paris, lower casing all of his uh, Pokemon. Well, it's, let's just let it be Pikachu here. Finally underway, Pokemon Tournament Prime Cup Pokeball. Who will win it all in this wide open, unlimited level? Here's the first move. It's not very effective. <laughs> yeah, didn't do too much. What will the trainer do now? A decent hit. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Wasn't expecting for it to do that much. It's pumped up its special rating. This matchup has become one sided. So let's just uh thunderbolt it. It'll probably survive because of the Yeah. Survive because of the growth. What now? No, oh, look, it's blood red. There's a big difference in HP. That leech life is kind of scary. How's that? Yeah, it's a hit! And it's down! What will the next Pokemon be? And just so you know that, uh, this special Pikachu... Oh, it's coming! How will the type difference affect that? In the... Gen 2 onwards, including Stadium 2, it will be holding the Light Ball item. Which, in case some of you guys do not know, it doubles the special attack of uh, Pikachu's stat. So, if its special attack is 200, that means it's going to do 400 special attack. 
Oh! Is it down and out? There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. So just uh, quickly take out this Weedle. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Here it comes! Thunder! The bear hit! And yeah, that's it. Battle number one, not too hard. And there goes the battle! So we get the continue. For not losing any pokes. And battle number two is going to be up against the rockets. Like, hey, wait, how did the rocket get in here? Um, this battle shouldn't be that hard either, so, uh, uh Pikachu, Nido Queen, and, uh, Clarion. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Get my thing to stick here first, okay. So, yeah, so against Drowsy, um, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. I'm not gonna waste missing Thunders. I got the Thunders for the stronger opponents. Now, Disable in the first gen was typically about, uh, was typically about disabling random attacks in, uh, in in Gen 2 onwards, I believe it was uh, the last move that was used. It didn't work. What a furious battle! But in the first gen, I mean, just using Pikachu, it's special isn't... That's a good hit. I mean, that great. And that's why Raichu would be stronger. What will the next Pokemon be? But, uh... I mean, you still can't underestimate Pikachu, though. Oh, it's the name of the man. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. But it's just that unless you get a crit in Here most Pokemon cases, it won't take it out. What's that? And the weak spot. Don't you guys just love seeing this Pikachu? Neither one is conceding an inch. And it's down. So what? There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Is last. Poly oh, Poly uh, wag. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Now, the like this, T Bolt should one hit her, one hit it. And yeah, there you go. So that's battle too. And there goes the battle. So uh making good progress through the uh, Prime Cup Pokeball. But uh just wait until the Master Ball in the Prime Cup because even though I played Meatness in Stadium 2 many, many, many years ago, and the last time I played Stadium 1 being like four or five years ago, but I know what the last trainer in the Master Ball has here in the Prime Cup. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna take some work to take it out. But for those of you guys that are new to here, I won't spoil it. The upcoming battles look promising. We're into round three. One thing I didn't, un well, one thing I don't understand is why does Flareon look, why does Flareon in the first two gens always look like it wants to shake its butt for? Here's the first move. A decent hit. Fire blast. Oh, Aww, we, we can't do that, Flareon. Furious battle. What'll it do? 
There, it's a hit. But you notice the special Pikachu does things a bit differently in terms of uh, there it goes. A bear hit. like his hand being up. When he does the attacks. What will the next Pokemon be? A bit of a difference is outside of the speaking bit. Oh, it's Machop! This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. So we'll just keep fire blasting it away. How's that? And the weak spot. Yeah, I got a crit, no doubt should take that out. God, it's a one-hit wonder! There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokémon! Rattata! Oh, the remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided This rat ain't gonna like, like fire. Up. Savage attack! The savage hit! And that quickly does it for Battle 3. That didn't take much! Most of you guys, sh most of you guys should know this, but uh, Pokemon Gunners didn't come into play until Gen 2 onwards. Gen 1, it was like every Pokemon was Gunnerless, pretty much. Well, not necessarily, because uh, then if you imported them into the Gen 2, like this, you know, Stadium 2, then they would show their their Gunners what it is. But in Stadium 1, it's your clue list of people like, okay, what Gender is my Pikachu? What's Gender is, uh, my Alakazam, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't know that until you'd import him to Stadium 2. Yeah, so, with this battle, uh, we'll go with Pikachu, Nino Queen, and, uh, Jinx. The crowd's excitement is building! Pika! And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Geodude starts, and I don't have the special surfing move yet. Again, like I said, that won't come into play until round two. Changing Pokemon! That Pokemon must not have been the right choice! Oh, it's sick! Wow, really? I was actually surprised at that. Oh, it's not Are they testing each other's strength? Well, I'll go for it. Um, I don't think I'll have to worry too much. I mean, Jinx is weak what to Magmar. Because of the fire type. Ah. It improves its defense. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Well, we can just keep up with the psychic attacks. What now? Like, hi -ya! The bear hit. Yeah, I didn't finish it. <laughs> whirlwind. It's whirlwind. Yeah, that's the it's thing. Over. That's the thing about moves like uh, about attacks like Horn Drill, Met, uh, Whirlwind. They didn't seem to do anything A decent hit. in the. Uh, What's this? There, it's a hit. They didn't seem to do much damage, or not much damage, but uh, they didn't seem to do anything. Especially Horn Drill, I mean, in Gen 2 onwards, Horn Drill was a lot better. I mean, same accuracy, but it wouldn't say things like, it's totally unaffected. Oh, it's Goldie! How will the type difference affect that? Alright, so I'll go ahead and uh, put Pikachu back in. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Pikachu! What's that? It's speed is down. You're a dead fish. How will this swap affect the outcome? Well, a fainted fish, anyway. What will it do? <laughs> Lowered my speed twice. Come on. Well, I'm glad you liked the Thunderbolts. Oh wait, it didn't like it. 
Too There's bad. In the number of reserve Pokemon. Pika. Pika. It just keeps like it just loves to say that. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one side. So all right, I'm gonna uh, to I'm gonna finish this up with Nido Queen. Oh, Nido Queen! What now? It's not very effective. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? My Nido Queen's HP is like 20 stronger, 20 points stronger than the Rental. Not all Pokemon that you raise will have all of its stats stronger than the rental, but most of it should. Like, I've had a few Pokemon that I've raised before, uh... The... the... It was only stronger, but like a few points. I've even had a, uh, a stat or so that the rental was actually stronger by maybe a couple of points or something like that. But the majority of Pokemon that you raise should technically be at least a point or two stronger, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will for all of its stats. There could be some stuff that the Rentals have that's stronger in their stat case, but that's usually not the case most of the time. So, for this battle, um, three grass, or wait, no, one, two, no, two grass and, uh, three waters. And then an Eevee, so we'll go with, uh, Jinx, Articuno, and Pikachu. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get white hot. Begin round five. So we should be able to easily finish off the Oddish. Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Yeah. That was quick. Down already! We might be in for a one-sided affair! Ah, you think? The Prime Cup Pokeball is actually, uh... It's pretty respectably this easy. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. What'll it do? Major death! It's getting pumped up! Well, All good for you. In this battle. I'm glad you're getting pumped up, but, uh... What's that? Hit the weak yeah, and you got fortunate with that critical, even though the focus energy really helped, too. What's this? And the weak spot. And it's down! Yeah, one turn with the crit, There's and a yeah. In the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's Squirtle. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. You know, it would have been nice as if Watch they would have, uh, like Pikachu, because you were able to get all three of the starters in uh, yellow. What will it do? Power was that they should have made it to where you could, uh, Pokemon are to where the three starters. In yellow, could actually talk like Pikachu. Like Charmander! Squirtle, Squirt! Battle Basil! Is it down and out? And there goes the battle! So, yeah, making uh, quick work. Already defeated five. And now we're going after six. It's the Bud Catcher! Um, this is... Uh, it's gonna be Pikachu, Articuno, and Starmie, but this is really all gonna be about Pikachu. The field is thinning out. We're in for round six! Pikachu should be able to hit... Well, okay, Ghastly. Um, I don't think I should have really any problem taking on Ghastly, but I'm gonna go with a Thunder. Here it comes! Thunder! 
<laughs> wow, that's all it did. Come on, Pikachu, let's shake it off. Aw. Now, Pikachu poking the Pokemon will not do anything. What's next? A decent hit! Fireworks are flying in this battle! Pikachu tried to do a poking attack. How's that? Oh, Aww, we missed what? What'll it do? There, it's a hit! Come on, Pikachu! The heated battle rages on! Yes, we know! Pika! Pika! Now that's more. Oh, but you survived! What's this? Oh, that's what I was worried about was the paralysis. Ah! one is conceding an inch. I was worried about that stupid lick. What now? Hey, you! Go lick somebody else! Yeah, it's a hit. It shook off in confusion. Oh! Oh! It's down. What will the next Pokemon be? Pikachu should still be good, but I just won't. Oh, it's so dual. I just won't have. Speed. <laughs> what that? That's a good hit. Eh, come on, Pikachu. Can we do this? No, we don't. Paralyzed on the spot. Well, that's all right. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. I know I'm gonna win this anyway, but uh. I'm gonna do what I can to get a perfect eight sweeper out of this. What'll it do? And the weak spot. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Yeah, and I recently caught Moltres in yellow, and I named it Ashfire. And it looks a little bit lighter in color. Because of that, because of There's the name. A difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Almost every video, I, I keep getting people commenting oh, saying, uh, Abra. saying, how are the Pokemon different colors? You know, are they shinies? Count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. But there were no shinies in Gen One, and even in Gen Two, there were shinies, but both can be for the nickname. But Gen One had. Absolutely no shinies. So that's it for uh, Battle 6. So yeah, so far, six, 6 of the 8 battles have been uh, perfects. Next is the scientist. That eh, shouldn't be too much trouble either, um... But, just to be on the safe side... Well, it's gonna be, uh, Jinx, Articuno... And... Pikachu! This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose having come this far! So I'll just uh, psychic away this bell sprout. Should have no problem taking it out. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon choice. That was quick. Down already. This is a wild one from the word go. To be honest, the Prime Cup Pokeball is actually the easiest. Oh, it's broken. Of uh. How will the type difference affect that? of the entire stadium. There it goes. Even the uh the savage hit. Even the Poke Cup Poke Ball was at least a little bit more of a challenge. Oh, toxic! It often too slowly damaged the opponent. 
Fireworks are flying in this battle. So I'm not worried about the toxic, just gonna keep attacking. And uh we'll take out Vulpix. Critical hits. But uh it didn't matter. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. And the last one is uh Tentacool. Should easily finish off this one too. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one sided. Like shaboom boom. Shaboom. And oh wow, 10 HP. Well, I give you credits for that. What's that? A decent hit! But you ain't gonna survive this There's one a now. Big difference in HP. So now we'll finish off Tentacle. And that's yeah, uh, Battle 7. And it's down! And there goes the battle! And actually they call him Lab Man. Here in the uh, stadium. But in the uh, red, blue, yellow, they, they call him the Scientist. So here we go, the last battle, Battle 8. Cool, male. And this is the guy that has the Pokemon I was telling you about earlier in the Master Ball. So now, now we just have to take on this guy. A little challenging, uh, but we sh shouldn't have that big of a problem. Um, we're going to go with... We're going to go with Starmie, Articuno, and Jinx. This is it, the final battle! Who will bask in the glory of the championship? So Flareon is going to start and... Well, we'll just go with a Bubble Beam. Kind of wished it had Surf on here, but uh, that's just what they gave it. So, can't do anything about that, and Sand Attack, ah. Sand attack. Accuracy took a hit. What a furious battle. Well, I mean, we've got Swift, but, uh, if Slowpoke comes out, I mean, I want to get the Thunder off. A decent hit! How's that? Perfect Alright, so fortunately we connect. And take out the Flareon. What will the next Pokemon be? And who's next? Alright, Magnemite. Well, How will the type difference affect that? I didn't put, uh... I didn't put... Nido Queen in, but... I mean, I've got Articuno. I mean, still not the right matchup, but Magnemite... I shouldn't have to worry that Thunder Wave. Because he's not using Magneton, I mean, I Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? I don't have that much to worry. Thundershock. What now? Shouldn't. No, yeah. Not too bad, but we just need to get these attacks off. There it goes. The bear hit. All right, so we need one more turn to finish There's off. There's a big difference in HP. Magnemite, well, he's just gonna keep going for Thundershot, or well, he's gonna go for Supersonic now. Supersonic. It didn't work. Unfortunately, he missed, and we can take out the Magnemite. Ice speed. There, it's a hit. Oh, is it down and out? There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. And Licky Tongue. Oh, well, the remaining Pokemon count is yeah, we're just gonna one. go for the, the Ice Beam, time. and he's just gonna continue What's going that? for Supersonic. But he hits the mark that time. Ah! Fireworks are flying. All right, well I'm gonna get try to get one attack off. Uh, Screech. Now he's hoping to have Articuno 
deal more damage to itself. Okay, good. We shake it off. Neither one is conceding an inch. All right. Well, I'm going to try to ensure that I get. Uh, not that it matters, but uh, I'm gonna go for the perfect sweep. Oh, it's kicked. Here in the Prime Cup Pokeball, and it's Stomp. What'll it do? A decent hit! Not too much. How will the Swap Pokemon fight? So, Psychic, you might hang on unless we get a crit. What's this? But we get it, and that's it. Perfect sweep, oh, and the Prime Cup Pokeball has been cleared. So yes, perfect sweep. Eight battles. But uh don't be expecting that in the Great Ball onwards. So there you go, Prime Cup Pokeball has been cleared. And back into the stadium. So that's going to do it for the Prime Cup Pokeball, and uh next time we're gonna be taking on the Great Ball portion of the Prime Cup, which is raised difficulty. And this, that is going to do it for this episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe even comment in favor. It helps other people find this awesome classical series. So um, next time, going to be episode 21. We're going to be taking on the Great Ball portion in the Prime Cup. So until then... I'm Zephyr Sonic for TGN.TV, and I will catch you next time.